five quarter to the hour, we made up a few minutes uh, on the day. Weather conditions in Cape Town are fine, there's a uh, light normally wind blowing. It's quite cool, 11 degrees Celsius, and uh, we'll be reaching uh, just around Robben Island and north of Cape Town, around Table Mountain to land in Albany Island. This area was inhabited by um, the sun originally and um, he lived here for 10 or 20,000 years or longer. When we're talking about the sun culture we need to, we need to understand that it's a very ancient culture um, and that, that under the pressures of, colo of the colonial area and of course under the apartheid years has changed and transformed a lot and has led to the population um, that, you, that you find here at the moment. I'm Donna Kotze. I live here in Yodville, but actually I'm from Mjalkeral. And what I'm passionate about is field trips. Yeah. I'm a paracologist working for, for Indigo Bauda, South, Southern Africa. The paracologist is there to give feedback to the farmer what is the researcher doing and why he or she is there. We have no academic background, but on the later stage we can study further. We are doing capacity development with the border community, working with small-scale farmers. Robos tea is, is a plant that naturally occurs in the feinbos, which is the vegetation type you find around here. Um, and it only occurs in a small part in South Africa and nowhere else in the world. And it has been traditionally used by the sun, the, the first people who lived in this area before um, the white settlers arrived and also before the, um, the black groups arrived from further up north. Mjalkal is a small place where the Kotze family lives. I know the farmers, I know the people who've lived there. I also know the circumstances to working with communities. Under the apartheid years, obviously large-scale white commercial farmers were in control of 95% of all the agricultural resources of the country. Um, we, need, we need to speed up um, the land reform process so that small-scale farmers can have more access to land, especially when we're talking about relatively attractive agricultural land, like robust tea land, it won't be so easy um, anymore to sustain a living off a small piece of land um, in the future if we are experiencing more frequent droughts and potentially more severe and extreme climate. And for us, not for interesting to have a question for us. How the climate, and for us, the climate of the climate is warmer. And the rain is and I play weg. Yeah, and yeah. Play weg. The women's group was one day sitting together and discuss about how they can get a, 
a better life in Mialkaral. And I thought to start guest house will be the best. Is it Piet Osmans that I do a regie on Kaapen to go for a conference for the women? We as the armoede of Spraten go to armoede in the maar de andere van vrouwen en kinders zijn en dan ook van die kleinboerderij. De Brunswickia, Postmania, we call it de maatlelie en ook de maatplom in Afrikaans, is flowering in maat. Het is een flower zoals dit. Wanneer ze dry, wanneer de wind is, is coming up of blowing. They rolling to spread his seedlings. We try to monitor the quiver trees at the quiver tree forest and our plan is to take GPS points of the small quiver trees. The aim of the project is to see um, the impact what climate change had on the quiver trees. My father died last year, and he was the farmer for a dry fell cooperative. My mother is a house cleaner, and she's working on a big farm. I want to achieve to continue my studies for biology, and after that I want to go to university for further studies, and I want to study geology. Kandisi kumanda wonye Umangibuza utii 